Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making one pot spaghetti. Okay, I'm starting out in a non-stick Dutch oven and I have roughly a pound, about a pound and a quarter of ground hamburger. I'm going to get this in here and get this browned up. And the beauty of this meal is, how many times have you felt like having spaghetti? You just didn't want all that mess with all them pots and pans and colanders and all that cleaning. This is draining the spaghetti. I'm going to show you guys how to do it all in one pot. And I tested this and I played around with it for a while until I got it right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to brown up this pound, pound of beef. I'm going to get that all browned up and the grease drained off. I'll be back. Okay, now that I have my hamburger all brown and the excess grease drained off, I'm going to dump in a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. I'm also going to add in two 8 ounce cans of tomato sauce. If you can't find the little ones, one like 15 ounce can will work just fine. Okay, I'm going to turn my heat back on to so about medium. And you could do this with jarred sauce, but my question is why? This isn't very hard to make and uh, it tastes a hundred times better than jarred sauce. Okay, now I'm going to start by adding in my sugar. I'm going to add in roughly about three tablespoons of sugar. And I'm just eyeballing this, guys. And some people criticize me for eyeballing. They say, why don't you go out and buy yourself some measuring spoons? Well, I have measuring spoons, but when you've cooked as long as I have, you just learn how to eyeball, and it's easier than digging everything out. I'm going to give this a taste for some sugar, or for the sugar in it, see if I need to add more. Yeah, I'm add a little more sugar. Add about two more tablespoons. And that sugar is what really makes that sauce good. And as it cooks, the sauce will sweeten up naturally, so that really helps. Okay, I'll give that a taste. Okay, that's good on sugar. I'm going to go for my salt. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt in there. You want to taste as you go, guys. Make sure you get it just the way you like it. That's good on salt. I'm going to put some Italian seasoning in here. I'm going to go for about a teaspoon of that. I'm going to put some oregano in here teaspoon of that. Some onion powder. About a teaspoon of that. And I'm trying to keep the spices as simple as possible. That way if you want to make this, uh, you're not overwhelmed by spices. And I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of garlic powder. You cut fresh onion in and fresh garlic if you like. But it's a work night. And I want to take the quickest and easiest way I can. Now I have some celery seed, about a half a teaspoon of celery seed, because that stuff's pretty powerful and uh, a little bit goes a long way. Okay, now I'm going to get in here and stir this all together and I'll taste this, see if I need to add any more, one particular spice or so in there. And I have my sauce warming up here as I'm seasoning it. And I just splattered some on the wall here. I guess you're not a good cook unless you splatter the kitchen up. I'll have to get that off there then. Okay, I'm going to give this a taste, see where we're at. Maybe a hair more oregano, quarter teaspoon, and a hair more of Italian seasoning, quarter teaspoon. And that's good right where it's at. I'm going to take that empty crushed tomato can which is 28 ounces. I'm going to fill that up with water. I'm going to go ahead and dump that right in on the sauce. And this looks awful soupy, guys, but don't panic because when that pasta cooks in there, it's going to soak up all that extra water. So I'm going to cook this over medium-high heat and bring it up to a gentle boil. Okay, now my sauce is coming up to a gentle boil. 
I have a pound of spaghetti here, and it's just regular spaghetti it isn't thin or nothing like that or angel hair. I'm going to go ahead and put it in here, break it in half as I add it in. And what you want to do when you cook your spaghetti, add three extra minutes to however you like it. I like mine extra soft or extra done, that's 11 minutes, so I'm going to do it for 14 minutes with that three minutes extra added. And that was just something I came up with uh, playing around with this recipe to get it right. And I could do this in a pressure cooker, or do it in a ninja with their directions, but I thought I'd do it in a, a regular pot that most people have so they could do it at home. And what you want to do is you want to stir this every few minutes because if you don't, your, your spaghetti will stick like down in a corner of your pot. And you'll just have one thick strand of spaghetti all weaved together or all stuck together. Now what I'm going to do now that I stirred this, now that you took notice, when I put my spaghetti in, I alternate it as I dropped it in to help it get naturally uh, mixed together in there so it's all not in one direction. I have a lid I'm going to put on this. It's a tight fitting lid. Now I'm going to cook this over medium boil, like I said, for 14 minutes. And I'm going to go in there every couple minutes just to stir the spaghetti around so it doesn't stick, but you want to keep that lid on there because if you don't, all of your sauce will cook away and you'll just have a dry mess. Okay, my 14 minutes up, this is done. I tasted it to make sure it was done. And I had to turn down the medium low as it got really cooking good. But you can see most of that sauce is cooked off of there. And this, stuff, this is hot lava here, guys. But uh, you want to go in there and you want to stir this regularly because, like I said, if you don't, it's going to stick together in clumps. And I suggest using a non-stick pot to cook it in. Okay, this is ready to go. Let's go ahead and fix up the plate and see what we got. Okay, I'm going to garnish this with a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese. Actually, a lot. This is Holly's, and she likes a lot of cheese. And she also likes the red crushed pepper flakes. But as you can see, that sauce isn't soupy or running all over the place. You don't see it running all over the plate. Okay, there you have it. One pot spaghetti. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see ya.